What is going on, everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you guys today with our first ever haul of a yacht. So instead of being on a boat, we're going to be in front of a boat. And uh, I'm quite nervous because yachts are very fragile, they are very valuable, and we do not want to screw this up. Coming to you guys right outside of beautiful Oslo, Norway. Uh, look at the scenery. It's just, it's so beautiful. You get the mountains and everything. Also, too, we got the water here, so the harbor is not far off. So let's go ahead and get our yachts, get it attached to our truck, and let's go ahead and let the journey begin. Stick around. It's Captain Blue Shell. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. This is why I absolutely love this game. I love the breathtaking views. I love the journey. I love everything that you can just kind of, like, go through and, like, with. And, uh, you know, gotta love the traffic that's, like, always in front of you, too, as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, driving in Norway is something that I have so been looking forward to. And, uh, like, I mean, I've hoped that it would be this fantastic. It, it really is. It really is super, super beautiful. Uh, super amazing. Uh, just filled with so many sights. You get the mountains. You get the, uh, the waterways. You get the bridges, you get everything in Norway that I absolutely love. And also too, like we said, on our way to pick up a yacht, something new for us, something to kind of, you know, really be excited about. And a little bit nervous too, if I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And here we go, looks like we have reached the harbor, so we are not too far off. I'm guessing, I'm hoping anyway. And here we go guys, as we make our exit towards the yacht towards the harbor in order to get the yacht to go ahead get it on the uh, the truck and hopefully everything in that aspect will go smooth i hope it will i really do hope so uh looks like this is going to be our turn off there we go we're gonna go ahead and get it over to the right here again too as well Whee! <laughs> and it looks like that is our baby Looky there, looky there. Let me go ahead. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and start a little whoop de doo here. We'll go ahead and start uh, reversing here for us, too, as well. Hopefully, this will go smooth. Two hours later. So, yeah, backing up is going smoothly, of course, with the, uh, the AI. <laughs> as we all have come to know and love, man, that... The AI traffic, man, you gotta, you just have to absolutely love it, you know? <laughs> Looks like we're all right on both here. We just gotta go ahead and just straighten it out. It's gonna be straight on back to go ahead and hook it up a little bit more. There we go. All right, cool. We are good. We are attached. Let me go and put on my, uh, my parking brake from my new heavy hauler button box heck yeah baby i absolutely love that thing let's go ahead and jump on out check and see holy crap it truly is a yacht like when they were saying a yacht i was thinking like this little like toy boat or something like a little sailing boat no man look at this crap holy crap dude it looks magnificent i mean it truly does it completely overshadows my truck too as well i'm a little bit nervous uh, about it uh, of going down the road with it but Hey, we're gonna have to, I mean, we've definitely had worse, so let's go ahead and just get on the road, and hopefully everything will go smooth sailing from here. You guys ready? Because I'm not. As soon as we, yeah, I mean, as soon as we put in that parking brake, yeah, as soon as we hit that little yellow toggle, it is on, man. Like, you know we are getting into the business after you hit that little yellow toggle. The parking brake, after that, we are, uh, I don't think the AI is gonna be stopping for anything, because they haven't been... Uh, since we were trying to back up into it, but, uh, there we go. Wide turn, and that's fine. Alright, man, our truck is, like, yeah, like, I'm feeling it. I am, like, super, super feeling it, but that's alright. It's gonna go, it's gonna go smooth. We're just gonna take our time. We're just gonna take our time with plenty of patience. It's gonna be alright. Roundabout. Oh, but luckily we're just uh, getting right off the roundabout, so it's not like a full roundabout or anything. Unless if those are coming up, I'm not sure. I mean, I will be honest with you, this is a lot bigger 
than I thought it was going to be. I know that's what she said. But look, I, if you get out and actually take a look like on the road, it's absolutely crazy, right? And this is, I mean, this is just another reason why I absolutely love these games, love these truck sim games. It's because not only the landscapes and the things that you can see and the places you can go, as we talked about earlier, but also too is the types of hauling that you can actually do. I mean, there are so many types of variety. I mean, look at this guy. He's already hauling two other trucks on the back of his truck. We're hauling a yacht. We can do like some heavy hauling too as well, like uh, some construction equipment or a bulldozer, whatever it is you wanna do. This yacht is just so, it's just so awesome. It feels awesome and it's nice that you have that option. To say, hey, what do you want to haul today? Well, I don't know. Let's go ahead and haul a yacht. What's that on the back of your truck? Oh, this? Oh, oh, this little thing? Oh, this right here? Oh, it's nothing, nothing much. It's just my yacht. Yeah, that's right. Heck yeah, baby. Just got to be a little bit careful because of the uh, traffic and everybody trying to... Dude. 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 Come on, man. You tell me who's at fault here. I mean, you tell me. We've been on the same lane for the past, what, 20 minutes? And now this guy is like, oh, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead. And now he's trying to make me back up so that he has space to keep going, which he obviously does. But move, dude, come on, man. There he goes. What is going on, man? If the halls do not kill you in this game, the traffic will. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. Well, at least it was only our truck. If we can uh, look and see what the damage, at least it was only our truck that took a little bit more damage. I need to get that repaired though too as well. But the uh, the trailer, so our haul, our yacht is good. So our yacht has no damage at all whatsoever with it. So that's the good thing. That's the main thing. That is the uh, the bottom line there for us. So it's good. So I did get some info on our haul of our cargo with the yacht. And it does say that it is weighing in at 10,000 kilograms. And uh, that's about 22,000 pounds. So it's a big, uh, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty good haul. And real quick, I'm going to do something really stupid. But I want to see what this actually looks like coming out of the, uh, the tunnel here. Oh, dude, that... We are like barely coming out of the tunnel without hitting the yacht onto the top. That's that that's pretty close, man. And of course the rain is coming too as well, because why not, right? Let's go and try to get it as straight as we can. There we go. That was a little bit more of a break than I was anticipating, but that's alright. Got our toll paid. Let's go ahead and start getting it back on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, my wipers on here too as well in just a second and make sure this guy is not going to come into our lane and wreck our yacht completely off. And wipers on as we go into the tunnel. I mean, you just gotta love tunnels in the rain, right? I mean, it gives you like that little bit of a break. And then we get this fog coming up here too as well. I don't want no fog when I'm hauling a yacht around. That's not, that's, that, uh, uh, that's not good. I see the light. I see the light. You don't, <laughs> don't go towards the light. Don't do it. I have to love that GPS, man. Have to love that GPS. We are coming in at a blazing speed for this, uh, for this here roundabout. Actually, that roundabout actually went super, super well. I am actually super surprised. We actually did it super well, didn't hit anything, and we were like drifting while hauling a yacht. Did you see that? Incredible. Yeah, so uh, with the GPS in this game, I'm not gonna lie, just like in real life, our GPS is having like serious issues. I know I was just in this tunnel, but it just, it, like it keeps on backtracking. The thing is, is that I don't have a checkpoint beforehand or anything. It's just the regular, it tells you where your destination is, and then it just kind of leads you on a wild goose chase. It's What it's doing is that it's making us pay two tolls, so that the uh, it's all about the tolls. The tolls are taking over the entire GPS system. They're working together. It's a conspiracy. You heard it here first from Captain Blue Shell. <laughs> no, but seriously, maybe it's, I mean, maybe like I need a, a mod or something for a more accurate GPS. I, I, I don't know. Here we go. We're going to go and start slowing down just a little bit here. All right, we're good up on here. 
let's go ahead and just keep on going and uh, thankfully we're going downhill so we'll go ahead and kind of uh just kind of tap the brakes as we need them not yet and probably now there we go checking the mirrors get our speed back up here this guy's coming into the dude come on let me go thank you man thanks buddy appreciate it and we are getting into some like serious fog up here though then too as well like the fog it, it is getting like a little bit worse I mean it's nothing you know nothing that we can't handle but and then we've got a uh, another roundabout here too as well which we're gonna go ahead and be going straight on through. There we go, trying to make it wide, or as wide as we can anyway. And this is actually a very relaxing drive so far. I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a lot more nerve wracking, but it's, it, it's a smooth drive. I think that's the thing I love the most about ETS 2 is the fact that like inner city and inner town driving it doesn't really make me as nervous as it does in ATS, especially with a larger haul. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but I feel safer in the towns and in the cities in ETS 2 than I ever probably would in the entirety of ATS. I think it's just the design of the truck. Like, I'll be honest with you. I think it helps that we don't have, like, this enormous, like, hood to, you know, crash into things a little bit easier or anything like that. Um, I think, you know, us just having like no hood and then it's flat in the front helps out quite a bit, especially in those like tight turns or tight corners or like parking lots or something, you know, where you have a lot of buildings. It's just a lot less to, uh, to worry about. I'm really hoping that our yacht, I mean, obviously our yacht is waterproof. It's a yacht, but it's like, I'm hoping that the wind isn't going to like affect it or, you know blow us over or anything like that I mean it's I guess this is pretty it's a, it's a pretty wide load for even for a yacht so here we go come on let's go ahead and overtake this guy little by little I'm gonna try not to get uh, too close to him or anything but at the same time as soon as we are clear I'm gonna go ahead all right I'm gonna go and start switching lanes here I think we do need to be getting gas so I'm gonna go ahead and be doing that right now Looks like it's going to be up on the left side. Should that be okay? Is that going to be alright for us to... Let's just do it now. It looks like this is kind of like a lonely street. So that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and divvy on up into here. I'm getting our gas here too as well. There we go. And parking brake. I'm going to turn off my ignition with my ignition key. It's so darn cool. And we can fuel up by using our fuel button. So let's go ahead and do that. Booyah. Filling up without ever having to uh, hold down the button or anything like that. It is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this thing. So let's go ahead and start up our engine. Get back into the rain. Get back into the driving into the adventure. We are in gear and, uh, oh, the parking brake, Psh, duh. Even when I have this big old toggle in front of me sticking out, I still keep forgetting about the parking brake. <laughs> there she is, isn't she a beauty? <laughs> it's probably gonna be the death of us. All right, I need to go ahead and get back into the, uh, the cab mode. And I think we are still clear in this lane. Go and check and see, yes, we're still clear. All right, cool, cool, cool. Don't need to rest. We are good without resting, so good to go ahead, get back on the road, and get back into trucking. Some of these guardrails just freak the crap out of me. I don't know why. It's like playing that old game, uh, Operation. Like, I used to play that when I was a kid all the time. And it's like, you know, if you barely even touch the side or whatever, game over, man. That is seriously the case in the here. We got 17 hours to go. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. It seems like a long time, but I mean, I've definitely had longer. So, uh, and me with my blinker on, like a 70 year old man. Is this what it, is this what it feels like to be old? Like that's, this is horrible. No, I mean quite a journey with the yacht, but I, I mean, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can make it without any hiccups or any major problems. So, and plus dude, we've got the, uh, the beautiful landscape with us in the rain of the forests of uh, Norway. I think we're still in Norway. But um, yeah, just gonna be enjoying the ride, enjoying the cruising, and uh, hopefully no ma major mistakes will be coming our way, but 
Let's do it. Let's let's do it to it. 16 hours to go. Uh, the rain's finally clearing up, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and get my wipers off here. There we go. And, um, yeah, it's just, I mean, the beautiful rolling hills of just, uh, you know, the Norse and the Scandinavian countries. It, it, it really is quite a, a beautiful thing. Like, I'm very thankful for all of this landscape that you see driving through it. And that's, I mean, that's just what makes this game so darn beautiful, too, as well. It really is quite impressive. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit later down the road, uh, it's getting to be uh, nighttime here, too, as well. Still kind of cloudy, but uh, not really much rain. Uh, nothing to report. Uh, everything's been smooth. Smooth sailing, too, as well. We are about to reach our checkpoint up ahead uh, in a little bit here. I think it's going to be a train, so I think we'll go ahead and get onto the train and then uh, go over to, you know, basically a lot closer to our destination. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a train. I hope it's a train. I like the trains. I love how they kind of do that. Uh, I wish that there was like a uh, skippable, like a... Uh, kind of like cinematic of your truck getting onto something and like kind of show you like a little clip or something of it but uh i i do like the trains i like getting on it and uh, just experiencing that also too with like the planes and everything too as well you can it's really cool the forms of transportation the ferries in this game and uh <laughs> i like it but uh we'll go ahead and be seen in just a minute here and I'll keep you updated, should be just another second. One Mississippi, okay, well that was fast. <laughs> All right guys, we have made it to our destination. I thought it was going to be a train, it is not. It is instead a uh, ferry, so we do get to ride the boat, which is uh, still pretty exciting. Absolutely loving it. Uh, let's go ahead and park up here into port. I guess that this is Port Authority. Poor authority. I will go ahead and just uh, keep uh, continuing on up. We'll go ahead and get on the boat. Uh, reach our... It's pretty close to the destination. So this is going to cut the time down by quite a bit, which is good. That's a very, very good thing. And, um, yeah, I love that when the trip is, like, so long, you think, but it's, like, shorter because you get transportation. And it's, like, I have never really, like, you know paid attention to that in full detail never thought i'd see a boat getting onto another boat but uh that's just <laughs> that's euro truck simulator it's just full of awesomeness i if i didn't know any better I, I would swear that that would be hitting the top of that oh man the clearance is like perfectly set for the clearance there <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and park up uh should be good right here get on a neutral parking brake and turn my engine off and then booyah we are good to set sail let's go ahead and set sail here and the one that we want is going to be non-tali it's going to be right up here so let's go ahead embark onto the journey of a boat on another boat ladies and gentlemen we are floating as we float away to just 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 float away it's absolutely beautiful and here we go ladies and gentlemen good morning good morning good morning it's uh yeah daytime so now we get to find even a cooler scene of a boat getting off of a boat <laughs> let me go ahead and start up my engine here now let's go ahead parking brake and let's go ahead and start uh, start out shall we here we go nice and smooth Steady as she goes. I mean, you guys have to admit, that is pretty cool looking. Getting a boat off of the boat in the middle of the ocean, off of the dockyards, the shipyards. It's just so stinking cool looking, it really is. And it looks like we've only got 40 minutes to reach our destination. So, yeah, hop, skip, and a jump, and we should be to our destination in no time. And that, of course, means to back into the rain, saying goodbye to the docks, saying goodbye to the boat. Uh, that we were just on. I think we're going the wrong way. I need my wipers on though too as well. Ah, here we are. Yeah, we accidentally uh, went through the uh, the wrong uh, entryway, but that's all right. Gonna go ahead and be taking a right here. Careful with the sign, and we are good to go. Uh, like I said, only a few more minutes until our destination. And so yeah, I mean the the fast travel really does work. Um, the the fast travel is super super cool. Uh, it's just like, uh, you know, like flying, uh, you know, your truck to somewhere 
or using the train. There's many different, you know, ways of transportation, and that is something that I love. You know, it would have been easy to just kind of skip everything, but they kind of taken the time to make that scenery. And like I said, I wish that we would have like kind of like a cut scene of it doing something, but. I mean, that's, it, it's alright, like, I completely understand, and I think that what they do is sufficient enough. Listen to me whine and complain for what I want more from this game, I mean, <laughs> this game is so, I mean, this, it, it's relaxing, it's fun, it's exciting, and just like new jobs like this, new, uh, you know, new hauls, new deliveries, new cargo, it's just, it, it's so immersive, like, I love the simulation feel that you get from all of these games from World of Trucks. And I mean, you know, more to come to as well. You know, obviously I want to do the bus simulator, but in bus simulator, can you haul a yacht onto a boat and drift away off to another country? I don't think so. So we are reaching our destination right up here. Gonna be another right. This card better move, otherwise he's going to be getting flattened. There we go. A little bit fast of a turn, but it's all good. Going to be turning a left up here eventually. I'm going to go ahead and stay in this lane. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's been super fun. But, yeah, guys, I mean, I had a uh, whale of a time with you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy. We're going to go ahead and park this baby up, too, as well. So I really hope that we don't uh, hit anything while parking. We shouldn't. Hopefully the parking is going to go as smooth as it can and we have discovered turku yay turku always wanted to visit turku and they say you should always live out your dreams so hey there you go <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and be uh, pulling in now i hope that van doesn't hit us okay like like literally like 20 feet away and we get into like the worst accident you've ever seen yeah totally all right, let's go ahead, take a look as to where we are going to put it. We're going to go ahead and just play it safe, and it's just going to be, uh, looks like just straight ahead. So let's go ahead, hopefully do that. I hope there's no signs or anything that I'm going to be hitting with my yacht. Uh, from the mirror, it looks like we are good. So let's go ahead, and uh, we discovered a recruitment agency. Oh my goodness, thank God for that. All right. Are we ready? There we go. All right, cool. We'll go ahead. Uh, parking brake. Uh, everything is good to go. So, yeah, guys. Thank you very much uh, for joining up with me, uh, for riding next to me uh, through our endeavor with this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous yacht. This is this was fun. Like, <laughs> this was really a lot of fun. So, yeah, like I said, had a blast of cruising our boat onto another boat <laughs> to, to get to the next landmass. And, uh, I, I mean, if you guys have the option to do the yacht and everything, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's super cool looking. I mean, like, it, it looks like a little, like, luxurious. It looks like a yacht you would find in GTA 5. It's just so cool that you can bring something like this to your destination. So, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, there we go. We are decoupling as we speak. I hope you guys continue to do what you love, play what you love to play. Um, I, I am in love with these simulator games, uh, all of them. All the world of trucks absolutely in love as I have been and thank you guys again for joining with me So I will see you guys on that next beautiful trucking adventure follow like subscribe. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out